Hiya everyone, today I'm going to be doing Makeup Lucky Dip number 10 and I really hope you enjoy. I've lost loads of makeup again with the move. I don't know where it's all gone. I had a box full of nail, um, lip liner, pencil sharpener type things. I cannot find them for the life of us. I also bulk bought a load of Ardell lashes and I don't know where they've gone. All brand new in packs so I'm pretty, I want to cry. But never mind. I found some which are not my favourites but I you know I'm going to have to use them because my lashes are really bad. They're like, well they've got gaps everywhere again so they've gone a bit. But there you go, let's go diving. Right, so we're going to start off here and just make our way around because it's the only way I can make sense of it all. So first of all let's go and get a horrible liner. I'm so frightened of these liners, do you know what? I can't stand the... The glittery ones anymore I've just had enough of them they're always too wet and they always just leave a mark on your eye but let's see oh help a pink glittery one well I can see that's gonna be fun into the eyeshadows please pick something nice oh no I don't believe it bang on blue another blue I can't get away from these blues primer type things we need to pull ourselves out of this one really badly. Come on, please. Just be nice. What's this? Bobby Brown. Looks like a blue liner. Might use that instead of the pink, but I don't know. We'll have a look. We're going in here. Loads of Bare Minerals, Lumiere type things. I hope we get a nice one. Oh, look. Celestine. Very nice colour. But I don't think it's going to go with what I've bought. So that's not good. Into the palette type eyeshadow things. Oh, I can tell this looks not going to be all that. Do you only just have an idea? What's that? Black. No, not black. It's Estee Lauder. Black something. Pick a liner. Hey, damn me. So I've lost half of the stuff. I don't know where it's all gone and I'm really upset about it. What's that? Pure Gold by Lancome. Don't know how that's going to look, but... Oh, I'm really not enjoying the look of that. I just don't think this is going to work. Feather blush, bronzer type thing. Come on, be nice to me. What have we got? Ila Masca. It's a nice colour. It'll go with pretty much anything. Pick something out with this one as well. Back up. Ooh, quick, 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 quick. What's we got? We've got porcelain pink. That works with everything. Let's pick a pigment. Yeah. Come on, please be pick a nice what we got. What's that? Tea time. A brown. Never used that before. I'm sure I haven't. Anyway, little eyeshadows of all descriptions. Bourgeois. Purple. Well, I haven't I got a trio. I've got a right mix here. Now we'll go for lipsticks. See what we can have fun with here. Dip, 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 dive. Come on, what have I got? What's that? Oh no, I'm sure this is an awful colour. I'm sure. No, it's not. Look at that. It's peach. Where's the lid? There's the lid. Okay, now for some gloss. Hmm. Mac. Pinky sparkle. Well, this is going to be interesting, that's for sure. Right, well, I can tell I'm going to have fun with this lot. I've got an idea of a look I want to do. The only problematic things are these two. That doesn't work very well. I've tried it on my hand. And this, well, I'm as sick as a chip of glitter eyeliner. I'm thinking I've just been in them all. I, I can't stand them. Especially them ones. They're just wet and soaking and they flick everywhere. Ew. Anywho, let's get cracking. I'm going to do some eyeshadow. And I'm using... Celestine and this is Bare Minerals and this is going on all over the eyelid. It is lovely. Look at that. It's like a silvery pinky brown. It's just nice. This is going on beautiful. I absolutely love it. Look at that. Isn't that really nice? I'm in a weird angle here trying to do my makeup. I've got my seats higher than my workstation, so, so I'm trying to fit everything in this room. It's so small. 
got the lights there, the camera. My mirror is like down there and I'm like, I've got the biggest double chin that I can see here. My chair's high up and it's just, it's not easy. I have to be honest. I'm really happy with that colour. It's lush. Now for a bit of tea time. This is really nice. I'm just trying to work out how I'm going to put it all. Do you know? Because I don't want to overload the eye. But it's like a matte brown. Very nice. It's very, very nice. It's actually more shimmery and it's more sheer than matte. Matte's usually quite chunky. But I'm going to pop a little bit just there. And I've already got fallout look. Do you know what I love about the Lucky Dips? Is I'm using stuff I didn't even think to use. I know it sounds silly but you get stuck in a rut of using the same stuff. So that when you just, I don't know, like thinking outside the box. It makes you do something else. And honestly, that there that I used before, the Bare Minerals. I absolutely love it. I'm going to keep that out. And I'm going to put it with my regular stuff so I can wear it all the time. Because it is a really nice colour. And I wasn't even ever going to wear it. I know it sounds silly, but I just look at it and think, I'm not interested. And then I wear it like this. And it's quite nice. I'm just blending this out. Well, so far I really like it. I've got some purple to go on here yet. And some blue. And <clears throat> luckily... Estee Lauder saved the day with a bit of black, like a charcoal grey, so that's going to look nice. But let's get this purple over and done with first. It's by Bourgeois and it's got a hell of a lot of shimmer to it. It's very dusty, so go easy. They're not usually good payoff these, unfortunately. But let's just... It doesn't really matter because it's only going to be a little accent colour anyway, doesn't it? I just want a hint of it, not even a lot. Because I'm going to be putting some black over that anyway. So just a hint of purple will do with the job. Now for the charcoal metallic. It's Estee Lauder. And with Estee Lauder you do get good colour payoff. There we go. And <laughs> there you go, straight away. I didn't even put an effort in. And we've got it on my cheek already. Such a messy pop today. Do you know... I've just been running around ragged with the dogs, as in the garden, well I say the garden, got quite a lot of land here, it's really cool. And the previous people had clearly just used the land for to dump the stuff. So every now and again when I'm digging I keep coming across like rubbish and it's just buried under all the ground. We've got rabbit warrens everywhere, the birds are out, spring's coming. And it's just fab. I like it here. Wish my room was a bit bigger. But then again, I'm alright with it. It's still cosy enough. Although it's not cosy because it's freezing. The boiler man, well, the gas, no. Not gas, oil. Oil guy was meant to come. But they didn't. They lied to us. They took the money and promised we would have that gas, the oil by Friday and we didn't. So there we go. Companies now, they get on my wick. They make me spew. Lie through the back teeth to get the money off you. This is where I fear the look could get lost somewhat. Blue eyeliner. I'm really thinking of not using the pink because it's just horrible. It's glitter. It's going to wreck this look. And plus, you don't always have to use everything in your makeup bag, is it? So off we go. I'm at a horrible angle here to do this. So if I make a mistake, do excuse us. Honestly, I've never done eyeliner like this before. I feel like I'm upside down. It's weird. You can wing your liner if you just angle your brush and then go straight across from where you've got it at the edge. And then you get that famous cat flick. Now for some bang on blue. And I hate to tell you, but the blending brush, the tapered brush, brush, 
the eyeshadow, the flat eyeshadow, and the, pen, well, the pencil brush, there's not many left, but the other three, they've all gone, they've sold out. There's more coming back in stock, and guess what? There'll be some new brushes coming out. That's the look so far. I like it. And I hope you don't mind. I'm not going to wreck it with those two. I'm just not wrecking it. Because I like it as it is. And I always wreck it. So I'm not going to wreck it. I'm going to do my brows. And I'll be putting some false lashes on today. And then we're going to get on with the cheeks. So at least my eyes are done. And everything's in place. And I love it. I'm glad I didn't spoil it with the pink glitter. I really hope you don't mind. But honestly... Just sick of looking ridiculous in these videos. I'm using a bit of porcelain pink. This is the pink we picked. Quite nice. Fine Mac. Got a little bit of gold shimmer, so it'll go with the, the gold, but not like kill, you know, like kill it. I'll pop a bit on the cheek there. On top of that, I'm using Tremble. This is by Ilamasca, and it is a lovely pink and always good colour payoff in their blushes. See? Really pretty colour. And it doesn't look like it's too much either. It looks quite natural. It's like natural pinched cheeks. Trombog. Very nice peach colour. It's pretty much what you see is what you get. It looks pretty true to true life in the camera. For a change. It's got something printed on it, isn't it? No, it's just, well, just my eyes. <laughs> Seeing things that aren't there. It's very... You know when you can taste a lipstick? And you think they don't taste very expensive. Take that. But it's going on nice. Now peach with blue is not as pretty as peach with blue with pink. So we're going to have to stick some of this on. This is a bit... It's a liquid liner. It's not a liquid liner. It's glitter. Oh, what? It's a glitter eyeliner? How is that in that box? I'm not lying. Look at that. Glitter eyeliner. I can't use it. I thought it was a gloss. Oh, well, never mind. It looks like this is it. This is the look. We're finished. And I really hope you enjoyed. I uh, absolutely love it. I love the eyes. Really, really, really chuffed that I didn't stinky it up with that pink glitter eyeliner. In fact, can you believe it? I picked two pink glitter eyeliners. And I didn't realise it. Hey, I tell you what. It must be time for bed, is it? Anyway, never mind. Right, stay tuned because next up is Tippy Hedron from The Birds. And I'm really looking forward to doing it because I haven't done any old classical looks. And I have to be honest, if people ask me who's your like all time icon for makeup, it's all the old ones. I don't really have an, a newer one. It's like Breakfast at Tiffany's, Audrey Hepburn. Beautiful makeup. And I love Tippy Hedren. She's got peach lips, pretty much like this actually, but maybe it's a bit more peachy. Um... And I'm not going to tell you what I've seen on the eyes because it's a secret. But it might be a bit blue, maybe. But anyway, I'm looking forward to doing that and I've got some lashes to go with it. That's the lashes I'm going to be using. So stay tuned for that and then on after that, makeup lucky dip number 11. Keep going. Yes. See you in a bit. Zoom, zoom. <laughs> 